Hey guys, my name is Iman and in this video I'm gonna explain how to work with one of my MATLAB GUIs called FBD, stands for Filter Bank Design. If you want to download the GUI, just click on the link that I provided below and make sure that you follow all the steps. Before I explain the GUI, let me tell you a short story. Actually, I have a MATLAB function called Filter Bank Design and you can download this function from MATWORK. But the problem is, I received lots of emails from people asking me questions about different parameters, how to work with this function. So I realized this function is very confusing for people who are not good at signal processing. So in order to make things simpler, I designed this GUI, FBD. Now, let's see how it works. Just type FBD again, filter bank design. Here we go. If you want to understand the algorithm that we used to develop this uh, GUI, please read this document. It's a comprehensive explanation about the algorithm. But you know, as a simple explanation, we have two terms, perfect reconstruction error plus frequency specification error. And we are trying to minimize this uh, error using optimization. So that's a simple explanation. But if you need to learn more, please read this document. Uh, so, by using this GUI, you can design uniform and non-uniform filter bank. Let's start with uniform length of filters. As you increase the length, the length computational complexity goes up, but at the same time, quality gets better. So there is a trade-off between computational complexity and quality. Number of bands, for example, in this example is two. So we have two sub-bands. Or four, we have four sub-bands. So you can choose how many bands you want to have. Let's start. In this plot, you can see perfect reconstruction error. Perfect reconstruction error consists of aliasing and distortion. The blue one is distortion and the red one is aliasing. And you can see the error across all the frequencies. At the same time, I'm showing you the maximum aliasing and distortion in this graph. So in, uh, this graph is very useful because it shows you if the algorithm converge or not. As you can see, the error doesn't go down anymore. So which means the algorithm converge to a solution. So let's stop. And then you can export the result. These are the synthesis and analysis filters. And after you export the results, you can see them in a command line. Or if you go to the current directory of your MATLAB, just if you type filters, you can see coefficients here. So the first sheet is analysis filter, and the second sheet is synthesis filters. Now, let's go back to the GUI. Another example, for example, set the number of subbands to 3. Again, in this graph, you can see perfect reconstruction errors which consists of uh, aliasing and distortion across all the frequencies from 0 to pi because it's normalized frequency. And at the same time, you can see maximum aliasing and maximum distortion in this graph. And by using that graph, you can judge if the algorithm converge or not. We have three analysis filter and three synthesis filter. So stop. Uh, you know, uh, in order to show you some applications of filter bank, I included two videos. So by watching, hey guys, my name. By watching these two videos, you can see two applications of filter bank in signal processing and image processing. So if you want to see some application, please click on this icon. And uh, also, you can design non-uniform filter bank. Again, you can. Uh, set the length and you can you need in this in this case you need to write down the sampling rates for example 244 or 2488 uh, so let me just start one more time so i'm designing a non-uniform filter bank with these sampling rates so this is kind of time consuming but you know what instead of uh, looking at your screen and doing nothing you can listen to music just click on this one Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching this tutorial and if you have any question, please send me an email. Thanks.